this side of my face is so clear and then oh Good morning everyone, it is about almost noon. I woke up at like an hour and a half ago. Still not as early as I'd like, but improvements today. I got a stacked, mother and stacked day. Like some mother and pancakes up in here. Dad, this is what we gotta do today, right? Post-production figures. Oh, wait, they're not working yet. Post-production figures. What the hell? Okay, hold on. Finger stretches. Post-production figures and boom! Today I got three interviews back to back. Then I have a meeting with Sarah. Then I have to get something tailored. Then I have to email. Throughout the day, emails, emails. And then I have to prepare for a speech I have tomorrow. I have to release my video today, pop this pimple at some point. But above all of that, we're going to be grateful. Today's gonna be a grateful day. This is the vibes. I look like a profesh. Got these pinstripe pants, got a white tee. I'm like, yo, I'm a professional. And stuff with one side of my hair braided. It's very interesting, these three interviews are for people to join my team. So it's not media interviews, it's me interviewing people, which is something that's always interesting because I'm like, tell me how much of a unicorn you are. I don't really know how to interview people, but I make it up and we figure it out. And it's gonna be good. So let's go. These are gonna happen at Swike's office. And like, look, three interviews done. It is 1.51 p.m. I'm about to go have a meeting with Swike. I'm in her office right now, upper level of her office. Swipes furniture in an office, so every time I come here, I'm like, not this office in particular, but hers, I'm like, where do you get this couch from? Where'd this table? Where you get it from? Yeah, I need to decorate my mother from place. I think I pulled something also. All right, change of plans. I actually don't have time to meet with Sarah right now because I'm running late. I have to go to the tailor to get my suit tailored for my speech tomorrow. I'll tell you more about that, but for now, let's cruise. You did good. Yay! I'm wearing this suit. I hope you can see it's like has little sparkly studies all over it. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty with this shirt. I'm gonna be so swagged up. And, and I get to wear flats. Flats, flats. Took that blazer. Okay. All right. Did my fitting. That was really quick and easy. I'm headed home. It's gonna take me about seven minutes to get home. Then I'm shooting a collab in 30 minutes. So hopefully I can eat. But before I go home, let me show you the six shoes I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow. You ready? How dope? How dope? These are the shoes I'm gonna be wearing. <sighs> Come on, the sparkly, and then I got these ones as a gift. <laughs> Boom! I mean, how me, right? Sarah, killing the game, killing the game. Let's go home, productivity on point. No need for naps. We all get to get, 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 Can we take a moment to appreciate these pencils Kate left for me? Your gold, solid gold. The one I'm using right now is, you are so smart. Because there's nothing smarter than telling yourself you're smart with a pencil. Come on. Is that confetti? I'm shooting a collab with someone cool. Let me show you. This is Amani! What's up, Team Super? That's Hi. right! This is Amani, she's dope. Say us a little something about yourself. Hey, I am the editor-in-chief of MuslimGirl.com. It is the largest platform in the States for Muslim women's voices, so be sure to check us out and support, and also check out my YouTube channel. I'm yeah. new around here, so. And we just did a collab, yes. and she also wrote this book that, she oh, didn't even bring it, I already had it on my bookshelf. Yo. Boom, called Muslim Girl. If Lily's one of its readers, you know it's dope. You gotta pick it up. That's what's up, that's what's up. <laughs> we just shot something, and when will it come out? Do you know around lunch? Very very shortly. Sure. Subscribe the, so you know, so you can be the but first the to watch. the idea is, there should be no Muslim ban because there's other people that should be banned, like annoying people on Instagram, etc, etc. So it's a comedy video, yeah. it's dope, but it's for a good cause. It's so ridiculous, it was easy for us to be humorous about it, mm -hmm. but it's super serious. Yes. So definitely check it out when it Everyone comes out. should go hug a Muslim today. Yes. I've done my part. And it was a good hug too. And she smells nice, and her <laughs> eyebrows are on point. And also she says holla, very cool, listen. Holla! What the hell? I love it. Love us. Yes, Muslims are cool. Love them. <laughs> All right, just finished my collab and now it is 5.50 p.m. My meeting got canceled that I was supposed to have afterwards. And now I just gotta prep for my speech tomorrow. I just blew through my inbox. My ability to blow through my inbox these days, by the way, is on point. I'm just like, yo, full inbox? Straight the F up. Killing the game. Go through that ish. Like a hot knife through butter. You know what I'm saying? She's like, Shing. You know what I'm saying? That's been Game of Thrones. See someone? You try to get your empire? Shing. My email behavior should be a Game of Thrones audition. Just like, what is it? Oh, I popped a pimple. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, never mind. Oh, you didn't see it. Oh, it wasn't me. What? The time is 8.42 p.m. It's so interesting to me how I'm so tired right now, but if I go lie down in bed, I'm gonna be like, what is the meaning of life? I am kind of sleepy though, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why. I still have to send one major email that's gonna require a lot of work. I still have to memorize my speech, which I should get on. I still have to write my script for tomorrow's shoot that I have. It's not a late, but I have to wake up tomorrow at 6 a.m. for my hair and makeup. 
So I'm trying to go to bed at like 11 latest. So what I'm thinking about is taking my hair out so I can wash it because my hair is gonna get did tomorrow. And then doing speech stuff. And then while I lie in bed, writing the email and the script. That's what I'm thinking. What do you think? What do you think? That sound good? What do you think? That sound good? Sound good? What do you think? What do you think? Let me know. JK, JK, I'm doing the speech first. I know you were really concerned and you were like, no, do the speech first. No, Lily, no. I'm doing the speech first. Okay, just wash the dishes like a good girl. That stack though. And clean the stove top. Cause why the hell not? I said I was gonna sign some stuff, so. Oh, let's sign something because I said I was gonna do it and I said I'm not gonna put it off anymore, right? Okay, here we go. Let's sign something right now. Uh, let's go. Oh, I signed something. I'm pooped. I promise I'll do more tomorrow. Stop yelling at me. Babe, I'm gonna do tomorrow. Babe, 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 stop yelling. I'm gonna do tomorrow. Don't worry. Okay, crap, I just vacuumed. I'm in that thing where I have to keep doing things now. I need to wash my hair, go over my speech, write my script. Lily, that's what you need to do. Why are you, I'm, I'm, I'm my mom, I'm my mom. You know when you're younger and you think, I'm never gonna be like my parents. I just washed the dishes, cleaned the stove, and vacuumed. I am my mother, my mother, me. So I'm like taking out my hair, look how big it's getting. Look how big it's getting, I love it. And I forgot that I have a TV here. Like I literally forgot this is a functioning TV. It's been on the wall, it hasn't occurred to me to turn it on. I'm like, oh my God, all those nights when I'm like, oh, I need to watch something as my to-do list, like a show, but I'm sleepy, I can watch it in bed. Why am I dumb? This is a TV, this is what a TV looks like. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Is, are, you, are you dumb? Yes, you are, because that's a TV. What is that? TV, dumb. TV, dumb. No, freaking, freaking, freaking dumb TV. See, this is what I do. This is what, take a shower. I did this for the vlog, the floor is definitely so wet. God damn it! I have no idea where these baby hairs came from. Like, I did not cut my hair, but it looks like someone straight up was just like, Guy, what a bomba clat. To be honest, it just seems odd not to do this right now. Are you ready to eat some brain food? Here are five amazing facts about your nose. Oh. Number one, the shape of your nose is determined by your ethnic background. So all those people that told me that my dad had big nose because he was Punjabi, you're right. Number two, have you ever noticed that your friends have different ways of sneezing? Some of them are quiet, some of them sneeze 10 times in a row, some of them sound like a whale dying. That's because sneezes are genetically made up. Your sneezing style is genetics. So if you effed up, go ahead and hug your mom and dad. <laughs> Thanks mom. Number three, in Greek and Roman times, if you had a larger nose, that was associated with being stronger and having more power. Ow, my elbow. Number four, sense of smell is stronger in women than in men. Ugh. Just another thing we're amazing at, no big deal. Number five, there is a tribe in New Zealand that greets each other by pressing noses. Shaking hands would be weird for them. <laughs> I wanna do it, I wanna do it. I gotta ask you. Are you dumb? Not anymore, cause you just learned five new things. Boom, ah! Ooh. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think that worked. Damn consumerism! So what I'm doing tomorrow is I am speaking at the Makers Conference. It is a dope, powerful women's conference and I'm actually presenting one of my chapters from my book, How to Be a Bows, and I have to memorize it because I don't have a teleprompter. Like, they have a foot prompter with notes, but not an actual teleprompter. This is the advertisement pic that's been going around for this and I kinda like the picture, so that's why I'm showing it to you. There's no other reason. <laughs> Boom! That's one of the um, pictures from my book that they used. Right there, look at me, I look like a lady. I look like, who this? Who this? You look like a lady. D, D, D. So that's what I'm prepping for. But yeah, it's gonna be a good time. We interrupt this programming for girls, they wanna have fun. And how girls do they wanna have fun? Let's go sit on the toilet. Does suck with Lily. What no problem? My class happening here. You know what's happening here? I pop two pimples. That's what's happening. I pretend like I don't know. I know what happened. I moved two blackheads. I'm out here front. I'm like, whatever. You, you know what happened. Shut the F up, Lily. And like, chill. What a productive day. I signed stuff. Thing, a, stu a, a, a stuff. A thing. I signed a thing. I had three meetings. I had. What else did I have? What else did I do? I cleaned a lot. And I sent emails. Released a video. And tomorrow is going to be another hectic day where I have my conference. And when I come back, I have a shoot. So, yeah. I can't wait till I have a day off, which will be never, to organize some house stuff. But thank you for joining me on today. And yo, as per usual, if you want to pre-order my book, the time is ticking. The time is ticking. March 28th, pre-order. Go, 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 go. Because those pre-orders, are they're, 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 they're going to make me feel good. I'm really nervous about my book coming out. Pre-order it. Leasingbook.com if you want. If you don't, I'm not mad. But until tomorrow. No, stop. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. By the way, I found accommodations in Trinidad and Tobago, and I will not be homeless now. It's actually where Marcel lives, so goddamn, we gonna be out there having a good damn time, drinking some rum. Ram, I said ram, I meant rum. Freak, I ruined everything, goddamn it.